fellow vintage lovers. I have a short haul for you guys today. I was able to make it to an estate sale and a couple of local uh, thrift shops over the weekend. And I wanted to show you guys what I got. I'm actually really excited about some of these items. One is a bucket list item that I've been wanting for over 30 years. I found it very inconspicuously sitting at the bottom of a stack of paper um, at the estate sale I went to. But the first thing I have to show you guys is this. So she is named Psycho Bunny. Um, that is the name that was given to her by the people running the estate sale. Um, she, <laughs> she's actually from 1989. She is a grabbit, which I know nothing about. Uh, there's a G on the bottom there. I don't remember this growing up. I just knew it was crazy, kitschy, cool, and I had to get her. Uh, the people running the sale loved her so much, they, they wanted to say goodbye to her when I took her home. So she has like a, a feather boa on, or maybe it's supposed to be a fur boa, I'm not quite sure. The, the best part about her is this little bit of hair here on the back of her head. Uh, that's how she came. It's not like her hair is missing or anything. Uh, I can't wait to do a deep dive on her and see if there are other grabbits. I mean, do I need another collection? I, I don't know. I'm not sure if she'll be for sale or if she's a keeper or not. I just thought she was absolutely hilarious. I, I just, I had to get her. She was my co-pilot. She rode shotgun with me on the way back. But look at this face. Oh, you're so cute, Psycho Bunny. Then I picked up these two plush. Um, one of them I got at our local bin store. So this is obviously new. It's made by the Manhattan Toy Company. And they had several of these. I decided to pick this one to see if anybody would be interested. He's like a snail apple. They're kind of like Pokemon. You know, they're kind of a, an amal amalgamation. Is that the right word? I think so. Of several different animals. So I guess he's like a snail, apple. I don't know what he is. Look at that tail. I just thought he was super cute. And I kind of wanted to get him just to see if it's something you guys might like. I don't know. I also picked this up because it is a little reptile. I thought maybe it was a, a gecko, like our little Mushu. But this is a fire skink. This is from Frozen, which I have not seen. So, I, I'm not quite sure what his name is. I just thought it was super cute. You know, and I love my reptiles, so I got it. I also picked this up. This is an old vintage um, maraca. A little shaker. Um, it has this really cute uh, Mexican lady sitting there. I just loved it. I wasn't sure if... You guys would be interested, or if Rick could use it for his recording, but I, I couldn't leave her behind. Then I got this. I love this. So I have bought and sold so many of these feather art pieces from Mexico. What I really like about this one, other than the condition, is the frame. This one has a really cool frame. I love the bird. This one is really pretty. I have not dusted it, as you can see. I didn't realize it was that dirty until right now. But how cute is this, y'all? I love it. I had to pick that up. I also picked up this book. This is from 1959. It's called Born to Race, as you can see here. But it is the story of a little foal who grows up to be a racehorse. I remember reading this book when I was younger. I don't remember this edition. This may be the first. Yeah, it's a scholastic book. Um, I, I had to get it, y'all. Look at that. It is so freaking cute. I love Horse Ephemera. Especially when it reminds me of being a, a young kid. So I picked that up. Sorry about the glare there. Um, speaking of horses, I did pick up this set of coasters. They're from 2013. I just thought they were cute. And we actually need some coasters. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use them or not. It looks like, uh, what did they have? A horse, horseshoes, beer bandit, wine saloon, and then the, the guns. Um, so anyway, I had to get that. I got this little, little, little purse. It is so cute. It's in really good condition. Let me see if I can open it while I'm holding the camera. Probably not. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, here is the inside. I'm not sure if it was used like as a little clutch or maybe uh, could it have held glasses. I don't think it's long enough. 
maybe a little cosmetic holder, whatever it is. It's really cute and I love it. Let's see if we can shut it. There we go. Cute, cute, cute. Then I picked this up. So this is an antique bottle that somebody hand painted and I think they did a great job. They, they painted uh, this little floral arrangement on a table. So this is super cool. This is Dr. Kilmer's kidney liver. Okay, so it's swamp root, and it was supposed to help your kidney, your liver, let's see, your bladder, and what does this say here at the bottom? I can't read it. And something else. So this is a cure-all. I just thought it was really cool that it was painted. Um, so I love that. I picked up a couple things for myself. And I'm, I'm only showing them because I love them. And a lot of you know me well. So you might be interested in what I picked up for me. This. So this was the bucket list item. I have wanted this since the 90s. It was always too expensive for me to purchase whenever I saw it on eBay. This was just sitting under a pile of paper, like in an office. I saw the A and the C, and I knew the font. This is the Fleetwood Mac Test Tour uh, program book. So you would have picked this up at the concert. It has amazing pictures. I love this penguin. I'm going to have to look up and see if I can get a print of this. I had actually never seen this before, and I've been a huge Fleetwood Mac fan all my life. But I had to get this, of course. I was so excited. So the people at this estate sale obviously went to this show, which was so cool. I do wish I could have gone. But it's got amazing, amazing pictures. Rest in peace, Chris. We love you. Of course, there's the Queen, Stevie. But I was just so excited to get this. That's a great picture of Stevie as well. Oh, cool. So I haven't even read this part. Fleetwood Mac, all you want to know. Oh, it's talking about all their, um, their vinyl releases or their albums. Very, very, very cool. Then you got more pictures back here. Um, this, I will not... Um, take any of these pictures out or anything like that it's going to go in my tour book collection of course i was too young to have gone to this concert but tusk is my favorite fleetwood mac album and yeah i just was so excited so yeah i've been searching for this for so long i can't tell you guys so i was just so excited to find it it's such a good price oh my goodness Alrighty, then I picked these up. Now, I got these for me. This is going to be used in my Easter decor. These little pastel mushrooms. So, I got these at the Dollar General. I thought I would show them in a video because if anyone is looking for mushrooms or, you know, Easter decor, you may want to check it out because guess what? They were only a dollar. One dollar. They're so cute. So, these little spotted shrooms are going to go in my Easter display. I'm just waiting for... St. Patrick's Day to be over before I put everything out, and I will film a video of my Easter display. I also got this for me. Soap was one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid. Um, I probably was too young to understand a lot of it, but this was at the estate sale, and I was like, oh my gosh. I've been watching a lot of videos lately about people that are not streaming they're not buying any streaming services anymore and they're looking for actual physical media and I don't think soap is available anywhere unless you rent it on Amazon or something so I was really happy to pick that up then I just have two more no I have jewelry too I picked up all of these books from the 50s and 60s they are all uh religious and they're all in such good condition. The covers are adorable. These would be great for having out for Easter. Look at that picture. These are just so awesome. I just knocked over the bottle. So the condition on these is like they were never read. Look at the pictures, guys. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them because there are so many. But look, look at that little sheep. So cute, speaking of sheep. Uh, I have several viewers that are interested in these um, type of religious books, so I just, I had to get them. I love them. I think they're so, so cute. 
like I said, they would be great in an Easter display. Okay, then I have this these jewelry pieces. I'm sorry, guys, I can't talk today. Let me tell you what, this time change has really messed me up. I think the older we get, the harder it is to go through this time change. Okay, I picked all of these up. This one is a gift. This one is gonna go to Angela, who I do have a sale with tomorrow. I will talk about it at the very end. But I picked up this copper uh, mid-century deer brooch for her. Here is the back. Super cute. Then I got these two metal Japan parrot brooches. I haven't uh, looked these up to find out when they were made or anything like that. They're just really cute. I love that they're metal. I picked up this wood. Oh, this is so cute. This is a little hand-painted wood uh, roadrunner brooch. I'll put it down here. How cute is that? Then I picked up these two Scotties. These are acrylic. Let me show you the back here. I love them. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Then I picked this little camel up. Now, I'm not sure. I haven't tried to test to see if this is ivory. A lot of times these are ivory. But we've been talking about camels a lot in my live sales. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get this little camel charm. I picked up this. This is really pretty. This is a, um, a ceramic hand-painted peacock pendant. Really cute. I don't think it's signed by the artist. I'm trying to look a little bit closer. But, of course, I had to get that. And then, speaking of, of course, I had to get. I picked up this. Um ceramic little pottery mushroom pendant how freaking cute is that then i got this metal and enamel bird brooch really really cute i hadn't seen this one before i think that's it for the jewelry then let me show you guys this so i picked this up at the estate sale you will not believe how inexpensive it was so when i first picked this up i thought umbrella stand I've researched it a little. I have not cleaned it. I'm not sure if this is a smoke stand where you would have um, ashtrays or, or dishes up here for a smoker or if it's an umbrella stand. I found it in a garage. I actually had to go through a very muddy pasture to get to um, the separate garage on this house. And we've had a lot of rain. Oh my goodness. Uh, I was drenched almost up to my knees like it the grass was growing and everything was wet it was just crazy but I saw this and I was like oh my gosh I have to get this it had a five dollar price tag but it is this amazing cast iron stand I am going to research it more I do believe it's antique uh, the little bit of research I did on it was showing that these are antique I love it I may just use it as an umbrella stand here in my house. I haven't quite decided yet. When I set up a little booth at the shop I'm going to have items at, I may bring it there. I just don't know, but I couldn't leave it behind. It is so, so cool. So you guys let me know. Do you think this is an umbrella stand? Or do you think this was a smoking stand? Inquiring minds want to know. Okay, guys, so I am going to be live on Dear Angela's Vintage tomorrow. It is already linked on my community page. We are going to have a live sale. She has some new creations that I can't wait for you guys to see. I've, I've gotten some sneak peeks of them. The sale is at 3 Central, which is 4 Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I hope you guys can join us. I hope you like this short little video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. It did finally stop raining here. Yay. I do have somewhat of a busy week next week. I will have a live sale on Wednesday as well as Thursday and Friday. Invoices, I'm going to start on Tuesday after the sale tomorrow. That way, if you pick anything up tomorrow, we can include it in your box just to save people on shipping. Okay, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.